Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Try New Things. For today we're going to do another another build project. Um, I know you've seen them behind your favorite YouTube creators proudly displayed on the wall. It's the YouTube Play Plaque. Now YouTube issues those to their creators when they hit certain milestones. Now the minimum one, the silver one, is 100,000 subscribers. And you've probably seen the silver ones, the gold ones, the gold ones if you hit a million subscribers. I'm realistic to, to recognize that day will never come. But I want to recognize the thousand of you that have so far subscribed to my channel, and that's very humbling, by creating my own plaque uh, to recognize that particular milestone. So I've been making videos for a little over a year. And realistically, if, he, if I keep going for a couple more years, I may make 2,500 subscribers. And that, again, is, is very humbling in and of itself, given that it's just some guy uh, videotaping what he does on the weekend out at his farm, uh, for the most part. Not a full-time gig, it's a hobby, just like everything I make videos of, it's just simply a hobby. But a thousand subscribers never thought that day would come so I'm gonna make my own YouTube play button plaque not exactly like one uh, because I you know I haven't earned a real YouTube uh, play button plaque and should YouTube provide plaques to people that uh, reach milestones like 1,000 5,000 10,000 subscribers I don't think so um, otherwise, they'd be giving plaques to uh, every teenager that makes a single uh, video that goes viral. Uh, but it's really hard for individuals like us uh, that do this as a hobby and not full time to ever aspire to reaching the 100,000 mark. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do it a slightly different size, slightly different color. Uh, again, because I haven't earned a real one, I just want to make one to recognize you all for uh, putting your subscribe on this particular channel. So again, really appreciate it. Let's get started. So according to the internet, the uh, dimensions of a YouTube play button plaque is 10 by 12. And I've got a 24 inch piece of MDF. And I think I'm just going to cut it in half. That way when I screw up the first one, uh, the second one will be ready to go. So I'm going to make mine 12 inches wide. But I do want to keep the same aspect ratio. So I'm going to make it 12 by 14 and a half. We will go from there. So let's get this cut up and uh, start making our YouTube play button plot. So here it is, our 12 inch by 14 and a half inch, soon to be, hopefully, YouTube play button plaque. So the next thing we need to do is lay out the uh, play button cutout. So let's go ahead and get that started. So the maximum size that I can make the cutout is going to be dependent on these flexible mirrors I picked up. I'm pretty cheap. And I will mount it to, there's their sticky back, so I'll mount it to a, a piece of quarter inch ply at the end. But I can't make my play button cutout bigger than that mirror. Now the play button isn't particularly square, so it's, it's all rounded all the way around. And in order to get the four corners the same, I've kind of came up with this corner. And my intention is cut this out, sand it off, and then use it in each four corners 
to get the same shape all the way around. So we'll cut this up and see how that works. Now to cut out our template, we're going to the old school 10 inch uh, Delta bandsaw that I picked up at auction as well. Uh, not quite sure how old it is, but I'm sure it's older than 50 years old. But let's, uh, let's fire it up and cut out our template. All right, with our corner template traced out or cut out, the intention is to use it in all four corners and create the shape. So as long as I line it up in the center every time and square, this should work. There we go. That's going to be the size of our cutout. Let's just double check. Narrower than the uh, mirror. Yeah, I think that's going to work out quite well. All right, now we got to figure out how we're going to cut that out. The next thing I want to do is bevel these sharp edges on the perimeter and also on the inside. So I dug out the uh, router table. So let's fire it up and see if we can't bevel these edges a bit. Go from square to rounded. Now in order to recess the mirror, I've got to hog out a little bit out of the back. So I've taken my router out of the router table and I'm going to use that to uh, clear a little channel all the way around the opening. So there's my recess that I'm going to put the mirror in and uh, when I'm all done my plan is to cover the back hopefully in some black felt. So minor imperfections should be hidden. But now we've got to uh, find a thin piece of wood to mount the uh, mirror to. The old thunder's rolling in so we're going to have to close up the door here soon but I found this piece of uh, I think it's about eighth inch so I cut out an insert that fits in the back. I'll go ahead and attach the mirror to that and then we'll use some uh, some picture clips uh, to hold that in place. So let's do that next. Well unfortunately my brilliant plan isn't going to work. So my sticky mirrors that I was going to stick to the piece of wood, the sticky side is the mirror side. So I'm assuming that's designed to stick to the inside of like a piece of glass and I don't really want a blue mirror so I'm gonna to have to figure something else out for the mirror but while I do that or wait on figuring that out I'll go ahead and get this sanded up and prepped and painted 
And uh, when we check back in here in the next clip, I should have a new mirror solution to try out. So back at the beginning of the video, I had mentioned that I wasn't going to make an exact copy of the YouTube play button black. Uh, I've taken some liberty on the size a little bit, and I also mentioned I was going to take some liberty on the color. Here's a couple of the colors I was thinking of. I've got a tan, a periwinkle purple, and this really pretty blue color. But at the end of the day, uh, recognizing the vast majority of you all have subscribed in following my RK25 tractor videos. So the color I finally decided to go on is my RK25 red. We're at least close to it. So we're going to go ahead and get this painted up. I'm going to get on Amazon, find myself another mirror. We're going to check back in when the mirror comes and we'll go from there. We'll wrap up this project. Now from a primer perspective, MDF is pretty thirsty. I, uh, I ended up putting about six coats of primer on here. It kept soaking it up, soaking it up, soaking it up. So I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and get the red paint on there now. All right, everybody, where we left off in the last video, I was starting to put the red paint on the placard. Now, what I ended up doing is two coats of gloss protective enamel red, sanded that down, two more coats because again this uh, MDF is thirsty stuff but I think I've got it now and while we were doing that and waiting I think we have some mirrors that are going to work so the next thing I'm going to do is cut out a mirror to fit into the gap and mount it to our little piece of plywood and uh, yeah get get this center section worked on and then after that we'll do the the actual triangular play button add the words and we should be all wrapped up. And there we go. Good looking mirror. Can't really tell from this angle, but uh, quite pleased with the fit of that. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, make our triangle play button. So we're back here once again at our vintage Delta 10 inch bandsaw where we're going to cut out our play triangle. Now I really should have done this and cut this out before I painted the plaque so I could have painted it all at the same time. Now I'm going to have to wait for this to dry as well, but that's all right. We've got lots of other projects here at the farm that we can uh, do while this continues to dry um, to keep us busy. So let's go ahead and get this cut out, sanded, and then painted and ready to apply to the mirror on our uh, YouTube play button placard. All right, while our triangle continues to dry over there, we can go ahead and put our lettering on. Now I have my lettering made, uh, I kind of commissioned it through Etsy. You just give them the text you want and they send it in the mail. I'm sure they just used a Cricut or something similar, which I don't have. So I was more than happy to pay a few dollars to get that made. I'm going to go ahead and get this onto the plaque and uh, we'll show you how it looks when we're done. All right, the big reveal. Let's hope the letter stayed on the plaque. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple coats of clear over this just to make sure the letters don't come back off later. There's my lettering presented by and to TNT Try New Things for passing 1,000 subscribers. And that's you all. Once again, many thanks. I uh, can't believe that many people have, have continued to tune in to see what I'm working on, but much appreciated. But yeah, so again, taking some creative liberty with, uh, with this particular project, but uh, I'm having fun with it, and that's what's important. Never made myself any kind of placard or art display before, and I'm so far so good. As long as I don't ruin it at this point, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it's turning out. But stay tuned. Once we get the triangle installed, we'll check back in. 
So here it is folks. I think it turned out pretty good. It was a fun little project and it was meant to be fun. Again, I've certainly not uh, earned an official award from YouTube, but wanted to recognize your efforts as well as my own thus far and celebrate the small wins as they happen. And a thousand subscribers is a huge accomplishment for a channel like mine. I don't think I'll ever hit uh, 2,500, but we'll see. Maybe in uh, two or three years, we'll, we'll get to that point. But uh, thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And again, don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.